Welcome back to another video. You see, guys, I'm, I'm keeping the consistency, okay? It's not easy. It's freaking hard. Not really. It's not really that hard. I just sit in my car and on my lunch break and just make YouTube videos on telling you how my life is going. Um, it's going, you know. Something that I do have to realize is I can't give up on my dreams, can't give up on anything that I want to be in life i do eventually want to be a motivational speaker somewhere maybe share my life experiences share my stories uh, share what i have gone through what i've learned what i have uh, and i want to keep learning in life you know life is something that you you never know you you, de you never have the knowledge completely of what life is it's 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 an experience a uh, everyday thing <clears throat> but like I said, that's one of um, my my goals, <clears throat> and one of my goals um, too is is being a being able to sing again in church. I used to sing a lot with uh, you know groups uh, from our church, uh, uh, solos, uh, um, duets. Is that how you pronounce it? Duets. Um, I want to be able to do that again, but all of that comes with me trying to better myself, with me trying to be a better person. I have a lot to work on. I still need to build up my confidence. I still need to um, get this uh, facial hyperhidrosis out of my mind. I need to forget about it. I need to accept, well, not forget about it, but I need to accept it. And I need to learn how to... Um, control my anxiety control my my thoughts control my body and uh that's pretty much what i want to do and i want to motivate everybody out there that feels like this is the end feels like the uh, where's the camera it's right here okay i want to motivate all of you guys that want to be something in life that feel like hyperhidrosis is a big part of why they can't succeed i know a lot of people <clears throat> Every now and then, I still go to the Reddit page of uh, people that have hyperhidrosis, uh, Palmer, facial, um, uh, under their armpits, any kind of, of sweating in their body. I know a lot of people uh, don't can't get the job they want in an office or can't get where they want in life because of this situation. And I want to I want to tell you that it's not the end. It's not the end. You will. <clears throat> something you have to accept is that you will go through embarrassing moments you will it's it's a given you're not going to succeed without embarrassing yourself without going through embarrassing moments where you just want to have the earth <clears throat> swallow you it's happened to me many times here at my job in meetings uh singing <clears throat> so strong my voice singing doing everything that i would possibly want to do without having to worry about sweating all of that has its its price which is being embarrassed i will turn red and i'll sweat like crazy but that's just something that i have to admit that it's something that i have to go through and remember this people that make fun of this situation are just terrible people that will never understand what you're going through that will never um get what this is like and you just have to just take it like a, a you know just just take it w of what it is. They just don't understand. You can't let that control your life. You can't let this sweating control your life. You have to do what you what makes you happy. If you want to get a girlfriend, go out there. If you want to get a boyfriend, go out there. They will un if they truly love you, they will understand. Um, now it's becoming to where I'm I'm sweating in my hands a lot more than I used to. That, that wasn't a problem, but I think it's a lot to do with my anxiety is going up and my thoughts about hyperhidrosis um, keeps going up too. You see, I'm not perfect. I am not cured. I am not there where I want to be. So that's why I'm motivating you because we're all together in this and we're all trying to motivate and uplift each other up. You know, I, I sweat like I still sweat like crazy. I still find myself um, wondering what's wrong with me. Why am I on this? Or like, why do I have this? Why did God let me go through this? But 
something that I have to realize and that I've, I've come to understand that God never makes a mistake. I have this for a reason. I have... I feel like if I wouldn't have this, I would be a savage in life. Meaning I would I would say things to people that I that I want to like that sometimes is is not good to say. Um, I think this helps me in controlling my life a lot better than if I did it. But again, we all have this for some reason, but you can't let let it control your life and you can't let it let it be a a path to depression and suicidal thoughts because that's not a way to go. There's so many things that you can enjoy in life. Um, you can go try to visit places, uh, try to go out. Like I said, exposure is one of the main keys that will help you out and being anxious. Stay off your phone, stay off of social media, stay off because all of this contributes to more anxiety, to more uh, depression. Um, some people will not admit to this, but that's just the reality of it. And uh, I need to do it myself too. I need to stay off of social media, but it's, it's, it's really hard now. Nowadays it's really hard to stay off of social media, but that's something I recommend, but pretty much want to motivate you to follow your dreams, to keep, um, to keep dreaming big, you know, to keep pushing and to be happy Focus on people that care about you. Don't let other people ruin your life. Don't let other situations ruin you. Do what you want to do. I still want to maybe compete in bodybuilding one 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 of these days, one of these uh, years, in the upcoming years. I do have a coach now that he's uh, pretty much wrote me down a diet, my workout plan. So I'm going to stick to that and... I might bring you guys if you guys want to comment below or like this video if you want me to share my 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 fitness journey and see where I go. You know, I don't know where this channel is going, but all I want to do is motivate people. All I want to do is uh, <clears throat> help people to have the same situation and don't let it ruin your life. There's more to life than just um, worrying about embarrassing moments, about embarrassing situations. Live your life. Sometimes you have to take the mentality of, I don't care. I don't care about anything. So if you have any <clears throat> stories you want to share with me, just comment down in the, section, in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video to someone that, who um, is going through this. Not, like even, even with me talking about the situation, it makes me anxious and makes me sweat a little bit. I'm in my car right now, but I feel like it's hot in here. So nobody's perfect. Nobody is going to not be nervous in situations as far as public speaking um, and situations where people, you know, tend to get nervous in. So don't be too hard on yourself. Um, pray, you know, I, 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 have a, I have a strong belief in God and I hope, you know, and I believe that he will help you out in any situation that you're in so just pray a lot um motivate yourself watch this video if you need somebody to motivate you and uh, we'll get through this don't give up follow your dreams and i'll see you guys in the next video